In October 1994 in Switzerland, home of the Nazi Templars, 54 people, among which many children, were brutally murdered in a, in a satanic Templars ritual of a wannabe New Age Templars club called the Order of the Solar Temple. In French, OTS or Ordre du Temple Solaire, and in German, Die Sonnentempler. And the whole affair got covered up by the media and the real octagon blue police army as a collective suicide of some crazy sect. But the members were not crazy at all, counting doctors, millionaires and classical composers amongst the followers. And in fact, years later, only a very small article of just three or four lines stated in the newspapers that most were murdered after all. I will tell you why, by whom and how. Why? Well, first, Pharaoh will never accept people constructing their own society within society, being also one of the reasons the Jews got gassed and murdered. Second, the real Templars of aristocratic descent of the royal Pharaonic lineage won't accept any New Age wannabe Templars using their name. And if you do so, you're dead. If you won't listen, if you won't listen, and the leaders of these new ages in their megalomania and narcissistic arrogance just wouldn't listen. Here in the German Spiegel from 1964, you can see how Alexander von Schalscha Ehrenfeld of the German aristocracy, a real Templar and Maltese knight sues German New Age wannabe Templars of the 60s in court. I personally knew descendants of two different generations of that von Schalscha Ehrenfeld and spent weeks together with them and related to Rennes le Chateau of the Templars before taking to their residence in Germany. Von Ehrenfeld means field of honor and Schalza sounds very un-German more likely to Pharaonic of ancient Egypt, where the aristocracy originates from. So you can read the whole article if you if you can read German. Put in the links for you as well. Just punch pause. Joseph Di Mambro got the leadership of the Order of the Solar Templar from Julien Origas in 1983 and this Origas fellow was a real Nazi and a member of the Gestapo and friend of Mussolini, a Nazi leading a Templars group. Nazi Templars! So the Swiss Nazi Templars and their octagon police were extremely angry seeing one of their Templars organizations in the hands of New Agers, homeopathy doctors, a bunch of dreamers, housewives and children. So they ordered the Swiss Octagon police of the Nazi Templars to go threaten, terrorize and infiltrate this New Age club. And finally kill them all in a satanic code O2T soul lifting ritual with a plastic bag over their heads See my video about that. And remind you how children make an excellent choice for O2T soul lifting to Sirius, which stands for Osiris of the Horus Matrix, as the aristocracy or Aryan relates to the pharaonic Ari from beyond the stars, where A is pregnant in ancient Demotic and Ri is the sun, pregnant sun and born beyond the stars, such as Sirius. And this is from my channel Gyuri. This is why in their logo there's a crown, as Templars are aristocrats. The Oval of Isis, her womb, Oval Office and Vesi Kapaitis of the Masons. The Wings of Isis or Ma'at, just as Madonna. And T.S. for Solar Temple, as in Ari, also standing for ST or Swiss Templars, 
in service of the Sisters of Isis through East Sir Isis, Switzerland. Then the Swiss Order of the Solar Temple had an internal issue about two babies, one being Christ and the other one the Antichrist. And let me tell you, the Swiss really believe they are God's chosen people and superior to the rest of the world, which they even openly announced through their SVP Nazi party, showing other races as animals like black sheep, crows, snakes and rats. So one of the babies had to go, and a hit team of four people from Switzerland was being prepared to ritually murder a three months old baby at Morin Heights, Quebec, Canada. And this story about the Swiss Antichrist is very much related uh, with that Swiss descendant of Phileas Walder of the KKK and the man who ordered Albert Pike in the 19th century, where the Swiss Antichrist and descendant of Phileas Walder was going to get born in Jerusalem exactly as 100 years later the OTS Solar Temple was believing. And these people are not crazy. They just know things about which we don't have a clue about, of dark, sinister world of the Alps, full of hidden evil worshipping the forces of darkness. Then, in August 1994, the first Swiss killers flew to Canada to set up a safe house. They were Gérald and Colette Genoux, probably related to the Swiss grey eminence François Genoux, a friend of Adolf Hitler, who founded Islamofascism together with Amin al -Husseini. It's just one big family of Swiss satanic Nazis, and Satanism and Nazism are basically the same thing, most certainly if you look at their achievements. Uh, you can read the whole story. It's all about Switzerland. It's the center of evil. Then on September 29th, 1994, Swiss killer Joel Egger, reminding us of Schwarzen Egger, also Egger from the Alps, also exterminator in a way. So Egger joined the hit team, followed up by Dominique Bellaton on another date. And just watch how meticulously Swissy set up the murders, so nobody sees it coming, just as the two world wars ordered and financed by the Swiss. Then, after months of patient preparation in October 1994, the Swiss assassins from Octogon were ready to kill the baby. The four-man Swiss sleeper cell, consisting of two men and two women, invited the Dutois family with the baby over for dinner, all smiling through their teeth and doing that clean Swiss neutrality thing. Then they clubbed the, fa the father down with a baseball bat. Coing, slit the mother's throat and then slowly ritually sacrificing the baby under evil Swiss incantations before stabbing it in the back eight times as for octagon. Before that the entire family got tortured through Swiss code O2T with the plastic bag to lift out the soul just as Swissy does in their prisons and with the next assassinations coming up. Oh yes, Swissy knows what she's doing. And I didn't choose it to be exactly 20 years. I mean, this is, this is such, this is not a coincidence. I, I, it, it, it's real crazy. Exactly 20 years, and now I'm doing this here. The same moment, back in the motherland, 
Another team of Octogon Swiss assassins were waiting to fulfill the second part of the ritual, only to be executed in order after the baby's fate fulfilled its destiny. So a few days later, in the sinister motherland of Octogon, and founded by the Templars in 1291, a huge satanic ritual started, killing exactly 53 people, and one escaped, otherwise it would have been 54, among which numerous children performing an ancient ritual hidden behind big walls of the Swiss laws of silence. Just as in 1310, the French king Philippe le Bel burned exactly 54 Knights Templars, and 38 of the 53 plus 1 victims in Switzerland were even officially recorded as being smothered with those plastic bags to lift out the souls for Sirius, and 54 Templars burned at the stakes 680 years before, the 6 for Hexagon, the Mason Inner Circle and 8 for Octagon, the military wing. In fact, all 53 were ritually suffocated, probably similar to the 54 Templars being suffocated before getting burned at the stakes. So they were ritually suffocated for the Swiss O2T ritual. And now also October in 2014, and exactly one generation of precisely 20 years, I've come to tell you this now. Watch out for the number 54 and 54 reincarnated Templar souls used in a satanic ritual now reaching manhood one generation later from October uh, 1994 to October 2014. You have no idea what massive amount of evil energy around us um, the making of this video generates. After the ritual mass murder, the fascist Swiss Octogon police and the corrupt Swiss Justice Department immediately started to work on survivors, witnesses and family members by falsifying the facts and witness accounts into the murder thesis of a collective suicide by some crazy sect members by manipulating, putting pressure on interrogated people, twisting their words and putting fraud witness accounts into the files. This is very common for the corrupt Swiss liar police to do. They always cover up things, just as the recent murder of an entire British family at the Swiss border in Annecy near Geneva, with the Swiss gun and the actual Nazi murders in Germany by the NSU, National Socialist Underground, well, also with silence silenced pistols from Switzerland. All over Europe and the entire world there are Swiss hit teams on the way at this very moment and totally backed up with a license to kill by the Swiss Nazi authorities. Daniel Jaton lived here with other members of the order. Although the house might have held vital evidence, police were slow to seal it off. They only put seals on the place on the 13th of October, so for eight days anyone could have taken material evidence or tampered with the evidence. It wasn't the only delay in the investigation. The Swiss police took ten weeks to contact one of the French treasurers of the order. She had close links with the cult's leaders and is now too frightened to be identified. The police were very obvious. They were quite determined to demonstrate it was a matter of a guru and a sect. They asked me if there had been special effects, if I'd been asked to sleep with other members. It was a matter of showing it was a sect. I thought their questions were very narrow. If I said things that did not fit the focus of their investigation, the Swiss police didn't write it down. They said, no, we're not interested in that. So now you're going to see the guy who got away, Thierry Huguenin. So he is number 54 as in 1310 of the, uh, the 54 Templars. The police might have been satisfied, but Thierry Huguenin, the ex-cult member, was far from happy. 
He was sure there was about to be another mass killing. He told the Swiss police, but they did little about his warnings. All victims, by the way, had short-time and long-time future plans, like doing a driver's license examination next week, building a new house, showing happiness for their next holidays, and providing health and happiness for their beloved children, like doing health food, homeopathy, and practicing long-term biological gardening. A bit odd for people desiring a collective suicide. Well, as usual, the Octagon Swiss liar police are involved in the murders deep over their ears, and as usual backed up by the Mason judiciary, the eight and the six together. And I will tell you again, neither do I, Sean Ross, have any suicide plans or to hurt someone else, nor do my wife and children. As I showed in four different videos where the violent Swiss came to hit me, I did not even defend myself, because I know very well that it is this the Swiss liar police wants me to do. The images are there, and you can see the Swiss aggressing me. And I just had to digest the blows again and again and again. Then on March 23, 1995, a Swiss hit team murdered again five Canadians in Quebec, stretching all the way over across the ocean to Canada. And on December 23, 1995, another Swiss hit team from Octogon and Swiss police members murdered 16 people in a large French, French forest not far away from Switzerland using the service pistols of two French undercover policemen who also got murdered with Swissies O2T plastic bags again all over their heads and the body bodies dressed up on the ground forming an oct octagonal star formation which you can see here, and again killing babies and children who were all incinerated with a flamethrower after the ritual to eliminate traces just as in the other murders and in Auschwitz, which was also the work of the Swiss with Heinrich Himmler, almost born in Switzerland of Swiss ethnicity, and Leonardo Conti, the Swiss sadist, and SS Obergobnwehr, and German health minister, two Swiss and the top leaders under whose responsibility Auschwitz stood, in fact. So, well, here you can see uh, 16 is a very good number, you know, to make an octagon. And the Templars did, in fact, they, uh, they mostly uh, built all their, their churches and temples, like Solar Temple, in an octagonal form. So I can see with which bodies they started, namely with these two here. So two, you know, 16 divided by two, you get eight. It's octagon, octagon. Then they did these two here. And then they did it with the two kids here, the babies. Well, these are babies. This is a kid. Also in line, still in line. And there they gave it up. Uh, these two are the other way around with the head uh, towards the circle and they just fill, filled up the, the gaps at the end. So they did this here, then this here, then the two babies probably. And then they did these two here. Always with these and these and these. You can see they were trying to make an octagon. And then they gave it up. Maybe there were some, they heard some noises or something. And it's quite hard, I suppose, you know, if you're standing on the same level to put to, to line up the people in an in octagonal star formation. So in the end, they just lined them up here and they filled the gaps here, here and here with the two babies here. So it's very, very obvious. It must be octagonal because it's all Templar stuff. You know, even their, their castles and... Um, um, strongholds they they mostly build in octagonal form as I showed you in octagon 
the empire of darkness and even Hitler's um, um, eagle's nest was built in an octagonal form and, and given to him by uh, Hermann Bormann and the guy who who initiated this order here well, he was a personal friend of the Nazis he probably knew Himmler he was a friend of Mussolini and uh, a member of the Gestapo so with two two pairs you know they tried to make an octagon they started here then did this this two here then they did this two here these two here and then they gave it up they just lined them all up here and they filled the gaps here the other way around it didn't matter anymore and at the end probably the two babies this is what they did and this is what the Swiss they are they're into it you know Switzerland is octagon they were founded by the Templars in 1291 go and see the Pharaoh show or if there's any French policeman who wants to know this um, go and see Le Pharaon show I tell you what happened you can see the Swiss have been doing this for a very long time you know it's not only the indications of how the Swiss liar police suffocated the case in, into the wrong direction but they are really involved in it and also murdered those two French cops the French police are quite correct and under control by the independent French judiciary not like in Nazi Switzerland acting as a combined police judiciary fascist mafia under the code of omerta silence i have good experience with the french police who respect others and don't bend the laws as the swiss police nazis do i feel quite safe with the french police and i hope that stays that way even with the swiss police liars spreading all those lies about me the swiss liar police said it was a suicide some of the victims having nine bullets in their heads well I guess after the first suicide bullet, it gets kind of hard to pop yourself the other eight bullets after the first one. And the gun had no fingerprints at all. All these mysterious Swiss Nazi Templar crimes are related. Solar Templar OTS, NSU National Socialist Underground in Germany and British family in Annecy near Geneva. All guns were Swiss and extreme Swiss criminal energies under a deadly silence of the Swiss Nazi police and this guy too he was the he was the head of the Swiss Nazi police in Bern Heinrich Rotmund and he gave all those Nazi war criminals a uh, a red cross passport you know to to leave Europe they've been doing this for a very very long time actually since 1291 Octogon of the Nazi Templars. Many people wondered why the plastic bags to suffocate all the people. Well, ancient mystical belief from the pharaohs of Egypt and the Book of the Dead say that when someone, someone dies quickly, the soul will return quickly to the home of souls. But when slowly tortured over a long period of time, slowly reducing the body and mind's resistance, then the soul can be lifted out for other purposes during a satanic ritual with incantations invoking the spirits of the entities of darkness and Swiss evil. For this a child's sacrifice is best because they have less resistance and a very young child is believed to be partly still in the other world and home of souls beyond the stars as in Ari born out of the sun as in aristocracy and Aryan. And indeed the work of Aleister Crowley and so mixed up with Nazism as he was in in Germany together with Ian Fleming and the Prince of Darkness. So the work of Aleister Crowley has found its way into that Swiss order of the solar temple where they talked about underground temples below Zurich and the masters of Zurich and indeed Switzerland is being ruled from out of the German speaking part of Switzerland where half of the names in the French speaking phone book are German but no French names in the Swiss German part. Vuarnay here is a large company of sporting equipment based in Geneva Switzerland 
and uh, in the east of France, next to Switzerland, who lost family members in the massacre. But yet he shows the Templar V on his articles, thus revealing what he really stands for. So Jean Vuarnet, the, uh, the owner of the company, lost his uh, wife and his son Patrick. But you don't put a V, just even if your name is Vuarnet with a V, you don't put a V on sunglasses just like that. This guy is initiated, he's no, he knows more, he's hiding things, as the whole Templar thing is under the laws of silence anyway. He, he can't speak out because otherwise he's dead too. This guy's lying. You know, it's probably about money and uh, probably his wife and his son probably cheated on him uh, because they wanted money, more money for the solar Templars or something like this. He's lying. I tell you, he's lying. You don't put a V, a Templar's V, just like that and big like this on your, on your equipment and the things you want to sell. I mean, the whole thing is about Templars and people being murdered by these Templars. And then all of a sudden, a guy who's uh, involved in it because he lost family members, he's showing the Templars V all over his gear. This is not a coincidence. There are no coincidences. If you calculate this so-called coincidence, you know, it's, it's such a small chance that a guy loses his family members and his son to the Templars and then having a V on his, uh, on his sports gear. No way. And here is the original symbol or logo of the, uh, the Solar Templar as it was created here by uh, Julien Origas, the uh, Gestapo guy. He was completely protected and a friend of Mussolini, who was also in Switzerland, Mr. Mussolini. And this is very old, this dates the, the V of the Templar. So this is not the V of Vuarnet glasses, but it is like the Templars. And the same T and the S for Swiss Templars, actually, it's not Tradition Solaire. Uh, it says Swiss Templars, and here's the Templars V. Um, it, it's very old actually and this is a rose like the Rosicrucians and why a castle why not a, a monastery if the Templars were supposed to be monks well, because they are the nobility the pharaohs you know like in Ari aristocracy and they also the Nazis as in Aryan Arian Arian Arier so, well, watch my film Fair Aristocracy, Fair Aristocracy in which I explain that, that the, um, the, Pharis, the, the Templars, they are the aristocracy of the pharaohs, actually. They're no monks. Uh, here are the wings of Ma'at, or uh, Isis in some cases, like Madonna. So here it is, a close-up by the V. Four crosses, four red crosses here, so that's the number four. And here's the three also, one, two, three, making the seven together, like in 007. The symbol of the pyramid, because the base is, stands for four and the four elements. And the side is Isis, Horus and Seth. And uh, Mr. Ian Fleming, he was in Switzerland with the Prince of Darkness, uh, Bernhard. Also being together in Germany with Hitler, all the four of them with Alistair Crowley, is all one big satanic family. And there are no monks. These are, this is the aristocracy, like an Ari aristocracy, and being the, uh, with the Nazis, because they also have, they are the Nazis as well. These Templars boys, they are the uh, Aryan, Ari, er, the Arya. Huh? So this is like the official logo of the, the solar temple, the tem Temple Solaire, and here's the V. Hey, Mr. Vuarnet. We think you think we believe you. You just put it there on, you know, like a coincidence, aye. Right? And this company is real big, um, and also related to Switzerland, as it is based in Geneva, because of the uh, the low tax uh, things uh, Switzerland is offering. You know, <laughs> you don't show a V just like this in your gear. He is a Templar. He knows it. And he's hiding a lot of things, I tell you. Symbols don't lie. 
I mean, why not showing the R in his name, Vuane? It's much nicer, you know. Or why not show an A and an R or something, or a U and an A? Why the V? Or why not the T, you know? You know, you don't put a, a symbol like this in your in your company, you know, sticking out in red, you know, red of the Templars, yeah, uh, as the the the, the, the Swiss uh, as the Red Cross and the, and the Swiss cross on the uh, uh, on a red underground, you know. Symbols don't lie. I told you, this guy knows who the killers of his wife and his son are. So either he's very much afraid to talk out or it's something much more sinister and I believe it's the latter one, you know. Uh, it's all about silence, the codes of silence and they were silenced up. You know this Templars V company it's huge and it's a conglomerate even producing inside the US for the American market you know so I mean this is backstabbing and killing at the pharaonic court uh, killing at the the nobility's uh, court you know they're having internal strife but whatever really happened this guy knows more One of the leaders of the solar temple, Jodi Mambro, walked around in homo-related unisex garments with the conductor Michael Tebechnik. Just as FBI gay Edgar Hoover, also a Swiss, did with his boyfriend, showing off in unisex. That's what they do, under the code of silence. And in France, at the parking in the Vercors forest, the charred seat in the car of one of the victims still smelled of smoke and traces like phosphor, phosphorus of the flamethrower uh, combustible were found, which was used to incinerate the ritual victims to wipe off the agony of their faces. So according to the police reports, the dying victims of a collective suicides went back to the car to put the smoking child seat back in place and they went back to continue dying in an octagon star formation in the forest. So here's another one of those Templar child killers. Just as the solar temple they killed children, uh, in Ansi they killed children and this guy too, he, he killed many children, you know, teenagers. And um, he's related to Switzerland, it's one big family. He has Swiss connections. I know this. So apparently the Swiss order of the solar temple still exists and headquartered in Zurich where they still have thousands of members. Today there are numerous Swiss hit teams. Well here's one of them. From Swiss Templar orders scumming the earth and killing for Octogon and Swiss Baphomet of the Swiss Nazi Templars and the Swiss Sisters of Isis, whose name lent to that place in the Alps, Suisse, Sir Isis, or Switzerland, the heart of all evil. And um, I already showed you in one of my other videos how the Swiss Nazi Party, uh, the SVP Nazi Party, or UDC in French, how they uh, showed this guy as a hero. It's in one of my videos. I don't remember which one. Maybe it's on my other channel. It lives. This is the Red Cross here. And uh, the idea is the Red Cross uh, and the land is the White Cross. You know, the other way around, if you see what I mean. Uh, this is Switzerland. They're all, it's all connected. It's one big family. Believe me. I want to see a Swiss system. I mean, I wouldn't mind being conquered by Switzerland right now. God, nigga, the clan is getting bigger. If I look at the number here, 2083, well, it's 20 years ago they murdered for the Solar Temple. And I think altogether it's 83 vict victims. It's all about numbers.
bunch of child killers if you ask me. So here you can see today's uh, Templars in Switzerland. Here CH for the country that means uh, Confederacy uh, Helvetica. So that means the Helvetic Confederates like the Confederates doing the, uh, the Civil War in the US. And there are thousands of these groups in Switzerland providing neo-Nazis and Templars, like in Norway, with uh, know-how, how to make bombs and uh, selling guns to the German NSU, the National Socialist Underground, <sighs> killing people in ANSI, and also this here. Um, yeah, and it's, it's, all, it's all from Switzerland, really. The most important reason for this ritual Swiss sacrificial solar temple mass murders is the fact that Octogon Switzerland was founded by the Knights Templars in 1291, just two and a half months after the last crusade. Watch the Pharaoh show for that and Octogon, the Empire of Darkness. The Swiss always have their dirty little fingers in the worst of crimes. Always and everywhere. And this is from the, uh, the all-seeing eye at the main police station in Bern.